Hello everyone, here I am presenting the Flight to Discover app for Android. I am very proud to be part of this project. I have volunteered to translate this application to Portuguese and the developer of the application uh, sent me a, a better version of this Flight to Discover to test, for me to test it. Uh, here we can see it in English. I have never tested it. This is going to be the first time I'm using it. And if there is errors or mistakes, it's normal. Because this is not the final version. I didn't test it, but I am already like it. Because he have uh, new features and is uh, well designed. And at the same time, I give some little ideas for the developer to to see if it is possible to do or not. So this is just the intro of the application. Here we can read things about the Flight to Discover app. This got the 360 panorama. It's fantastic, as you can see now. It takes a 360 photo of the surrounding and you can see all around. And if you press the ball, the, this red ball, you can move the tablet or phone and see around. And with the FPV goggles, you can see it too. It's fantastic. I am willing to experiment this here. No, it's not completed. Many things and options are missing here now. It's a better version. My flights not completed. Let's do the simulator. I'm very curious about this simulator. This is a nice feature, you can experiment things. Here I don't, I don't have the GPS on and we cannot see the, the map. But the radar is not available yet. And it, as you can see in the top, this is uh, for slow movement I think. Uh, okay, many things are missing here. Picture been saved. Okay, emergency. I don't know. It's not useless. And this can be controlled by voice. Not yet, but in the future. I'm willing to try that too. This is a vertical camera. To control the vertical camera, I think. Uh, okay. Okay, let's enter the simulator again. Here we are. Now there's a Bebop 2 there. Already on the air. We can move around the map. And the settings are very nice. Very well displayed. You can read uh, very nice all the, the settings. As you can see here. This feature is nice, you can return to takeoff position or where the pilot is. And many more things to adjust. And you can fly with the FPV goggles too. Just like that. Mm, what else? Uh, and the uh, speech recognition to control the bebop with your voice and now my translation to portuguese if you're not portuguese or you don't understand portuguese you're not going to understand this <laughs> of course whatever there we go this is uh, another better version with more stuff on on it already And the RAM 360 again. 
Okay, this is just to read the things in Portuguese to check if it, if it is okay or not. Same thing, the 360 degrees image and you can share it on Facebook or other places. The, the picture you have take, taken. Now you cannot modify this because it's a default setting, default panorama. Find the drone. Okay. With this, you can theoretically you can find the view of fall if it falls or something on the map with the GPS and last coordinates or something. Okay. This is map stuff. Very pallid and yellowish, I don't know why. This is the place where I am now. Okay, that's it. This is some information, info, problems, warnings, advices, that's whatever. It's not in Portuguese in this case, but it's okay. Okay, let's go to the simulator again and check these things if it is well, if they are well translated. And let's make a, a small flight. Okay, so take off and uh, we have the radar on the right you can move the radar around the screen uh, I am doing this on the Samsung tablet 4 4 by 3 screen again seeing the, the translation on the settings these are the settings I use to fly this is a nice feature to go when it returns home it returns where the pilot is or the takeoff position and choose the quality of the video here etc it's very complete Okay, and it has a lock screen, that's nice. Let's get the crap and go fly and test it. Okay, so let's try, fly to discover. Okay, everything looks nice and smooth. Just flying around with the Flight to Discover app. And in the same place I have fly flown for the first time in 2015. Okay, let's press this camera symbol and the bebop focus down to where I am and keep the camera 
Look, there's a new here, you see. It's a nice feature. Let's move around to see if it follows. Camera is following me. In this case, the controller. Let's go up and far. The camera is still focused on the controller, on the sky controller. Uh, this, this I don't know what it does. As you can see, you can move the radar around the screen and put it in another position. Okay, it's not available yet. Okay, let's press return to home. It goes 20 meters high and return. In this case, in the returns on the landing on the takeoff position that was on top of the car. So let's press the camera icon and the camera immediately focus me. Me carrying the sky controller too. As you can see Bebop 2 is on the same position and just the camera following me. Not the drone itself. Let's do a panorama here now to see how it is going to be. The first panorama. It will take eight, eight photos, eight pictures with the fish eye lens of the Bebop and the application will Put them all together to construct the panorama view 360 degrees. It takes some time, but it's not... it's not bad. And it is done. We, we will see it later.
nicht so fest. Let's let's download the pictures from the Vivo memory to the application to the flight discover. Eight hundred, eight hundred what megabytes? Okay, done. Now the flight to discover. Do the the process. And this is the final result. Very nice. You can see that girl is in two positions here and near the car. Right there in two positions. <laughs> it's nice. Because it, it takes a picture of one side and the other side when she is walking. Whatever. So now let's make uh, another flight higher to take a panorama of a higher altitude. <laughs> Get some time to get on top altitude let's forward the video faster so for you don't get bored or something now we are starting to see more much more okay I cut the video to take the the photos first photo taken second photo taken as you can see it uses all the fish eye of the bebop it is with the whole resolution of the camera and after that we download the photos from the bebop memory to the to the smartphone or the tablet and flight to discover does the process of putting all that fisheye photos together to construct the 360 degrees panorama as i said before Done and the last photo. 
thing we do? Now let's fast forward the video of the da of the of the, the the flight going down. And here it is, the fabulous panorama of this place. Awesome. You can see all around. Up and down. There's a little cut here, I don't know why. Wasn't perfect, but it's very nice. Okay, let's go here near the King Christ statue to take 360 panorama. Nice view already. Seeing the statue, the base of the statue, the, the bridge, the river, Lisbon at front and the other side of the river and so on. It takes a lot of time to, go, to climb up. Yeah, the statue is about to appear very slowly. More higher, a few meters to take the picture, the pictures of for the panorama. Okay, one more, little more. Now it's okay. Let's do this now. First picture. Um, let's advance faster. There we go. And the last one. It's done. Terminated. And here we go, the panorama of this place. Very nice. I'm down there somewhere. You can see the, the link there. And because I'm not satisfied with this altitude, let's make another panorama in the higher position. There we go. Forward the video. Okay. And it's done. Now let's see the result. Look at this. We can see all. Even like that. And we can zoom in on this panorama, like this. Okay. It's done here. Very nice. No, I'm, I'm there. And if we are here, let's do some more flights. Here I forgot to put to record the video and this is all I get thank you for watching I hope you like it and use flight to discover 